Welcome back. More Bronco, as usual lately. So we've been doing a bunch of cool upgrades. We did the tire carrier, we did the rear bumper, we've been doing some suspension components and stuff. Now we need to start protecting the investment. Armor Light's got a lot of money in this vehicle, uh, you know, purchasing the vehicle, building the vehicle, all these really nice high quality parts. Now we need to start thinking about protection long term. How do we protect this vehicle from damage going off road? I mean, obviously the first trick is to keep it on its tires and not put it into the side of a tree, but how do we protect the underside? Got a hold of Metal Cloak. We have a bunch of different Metal Cloak products we're going to be showing you here over the next couple weeks. Uh, this is their front lower control arm skid. So we want to protect the front end. We want to take care of that and make sure that there's no major damage that can happen outside of you know, maybe a fluke situation. We got the RCVs in there. Uh, we got new suspension. We've got more suspension components going on there. So let's take a look at these uh, lower control arm skid plates. I've yet to install a set of these myself. Um, I know we've installed them at the shop, but let's do this today. The best part about Metal Cloak, you get stickers in almost every single box. They give these away like water, but I love stickers. All right, so we got a couple brackets, we got some hardware. I'll show you a little close up here in a minute. Huge control arm skid plates. Dude, those are super thick. That's gonna make it really easy to glide over obstacles. Here's a little close up. You can see how thick those are. Nice, nice and thick, all zinc coated. I'm excited to install these. These are gonna be the brackets that sandwich it. And again, you got your hardware. All right, what we're gonna do really quick, we're gonna pop the two lower shock nuts off, we're gonna hang this, and then we're gonna show you a little small snafu we ran into. But we knew we were gonna have this problem ahead of time. So let's go hang this, and we'll show you something kinda neat. This is the bracket that slides in behind all this and holds this and pinches it to the control arm. But on Metal Cloak's website, they'll tell you this does not fit the Haas 3.0 shocks. It doesn't fit these really awesome, super sweet shocks. It only fits like the base models and the Haas 2.0. We knew that when we bought this, no surprise to us, but what we're going to do is we are going to take our plasma cutter and notch this out to go ahead and fit around the body of this shock. So I don't know that you're going to want to spend the time trying to fabricate all this if you don't have the tools to do it. We know we do. We're going to ruin the zinc coating, but we're just going to sand them down and put some really good paint on there. And that way it'll still fit behind here. It'll pinch this and hold this up. This really isn't doing a whole lot other than just holding this up. All the abuse is gonna happen down here. So we're not gonna lose a whole lot of integrity by doing this, maybe a little bit, but this isn't the critical part of the system. So here's what it looks like pre-cut. We're gonna show you what it looks like after cut. So there's many ways you could do it. You could take a cutoff wheel, you could take a hacksaw blade, you could use a grinder, anything, I don't really care. We're gonna use the plasma cut and then we're just gonna clean up the grinder afterwards.
All right, so you can basically see what we did here. We notched it out to fit around the strut. Right here, we welded a tab on to lock onto the control arm. And over here, we had to notch off some of the metal because again, this isn't designed for our vehicle. So we modified it and made it fit our vehicle. Now that we've got this modified, we notched it out. We did some trimming here, welded a little stanchion on to go onto the control arm. We've got this so it actually fits perfect and it works really well it sandwiches this just like they designed it to but we modified it to fit this suspension because again this isn't designed for the suspension we knew it it's not like they made something wrong we knew that it wasn't designed for this but i also knew we could fix it so now we just slide it behind here and bolt it in like originally designed So now as you can see, that is clearance to go around the shock. The little stanchion goes down here to the control arm, keeps it nice, tight, and squeezed. We paint it all up. While those brackets definitely weren't made for this vehicle, the disclaimer was around their website, with a plasma cutter and a welder and some spare steel, we were able to make it work. Not only does it work, it actually works really well. So gives them great protection. Armor Light's gonna enjoy that. They're gonna, like to, they're gonna like knowing that they can actually use this vehicle and not destroy everything underneath of it. But we got a few more things we need to strengthen up and beef up on this vehicle. So if you stick around for next week, we'll have some more cool installs. See you then.